didn't break anything off of it. It went right through there. Yeah, I'm going. Okay, I'm going up my second tree here. I'm going to tap out. Now I'm going to run my saw a lot, so I'll just put my second line on. We'll just carry it up here with me. I always put the akimbo on the top first. I've seen people talk about putting it on the bottom first, but it's just never the way I thought about it. Yeah, I was going to buy a slip line at the show. And I didn't. This would be a good application for slip lines. Okay, we'll get this over here. Get it kind of choked. Back. All right, we got that to avoid. This should be easy to avoid. <laughs> I haven't even seen above this point yet. I don't even know what this is going to look like. Looks like it'll be okay. Okay, yeah, I'll climb this. This is decent. Okay, let's get my, get this off of here. All right, let's get up above this. Okay. Okay, can I get that out of there? Will it go out of there? Hmm. Hmm. Will that come out? I think it might. We got some defects in this tree. And yet I just keep climbing higher. All right. I think I can get this to drop out. Oh. 
This is kind of a boring removal. Kind of cool stand of spruces though. There's a bunch of Norway spruces in here which just grow good in this shady environment. There's an ash tree that's treated actually. So we got white pines and Norway spruces. And I don't know what's making these decline. Uh, could be some bark beetle in here working up. Alright. Drop cut city. branches off those pines and I got that to avoid. I'm gonna have to go out and make this short. Got a little bit of breeze behind me at my back here. So at the show Jacob was at the show. That was a good time catching up with him. He gave me a hug and said, Missy Dad. He had West Coast Saw with him. Gordy, so that was fun to meet Gordy. Fun having Gordy around the show, he's like, I've never climbed a tree in my life. <laughs> All these arborists around him. He's a logger. Tall. I got a I got a back wind so I'm gonna lay it that way I can probably put it right between those those branches get up a little higher then put the peak right there and lay it right down that's what we'll do that's what we're gonna do we got a little bit of a wind drift so that's good Oh, well, that's gonna go down and tag a little thing. You gotta be careful of those tip holds, and then it comes off here, and it goes that way. Okay, we can aim right in there. We'll get up a little higher though. Take this next tier off. All right, can we fit it right there? I think we can. something cracking it must have been on that one must have broke the tip off of that but there's nothing broken there so yeah we shot that gap we made it 
Good deal. I was gonna put a hand on it and then I said no. And it went perfect. So that's good. little bit of a brake cut over on that side we hinged over here yeah gotta watch my angles cut this one's going off this way with the lean Oh, 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 oh. 
that. That was a bad gap out. Ah. There was some parts in the wrong spots. Look at that one. Where's that monkey beaver saddle? We need it. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can't drop the butt off here first. I mean, head, head first. Try to get her cut off of there, but it didn't do it. It could. Let's use that for a pull line. Got some pine tar on my akimbo. Possibly some pine tar, some sawdust getting in my akimbo. That's the problem with blowing sawdust at your equipment. Ugh. I think I'm gonna like go get some lunch or something. I could just demonstrate this. Let's just demonstrate this. We got a short bar.
over. Okay, we got a little bit of overlap in there. That's what's holding this up. So we can walk around our drop zone. <coughs> And my bag is beyond the drop zone. I can see that right from here. We're gonna land about right in here. my lanyard oh, all wrapped up the knot was on the back side so I was able to retrieve it loosen it and pull this out there we go So let's go look at this. So we, we plunge cut in this way. We plunge cut in that way. We, we, first we drilled out the middle. So this could have been a much bigger stump, two and a half times the size of the bar. And you know, we could have been 14 inches to get into here. You know we were only six here so we could have been a lot longer we had our two pieces of holding wood here and and this this is what was kind of holding us up it, it wouldn't fall on its own i couldn't push it over because we had to break this overlap but when i cut backwards then i kicked in sawdust into the kerf so it, it wouldn't sit back on my saw and so that's a little method to finish your cut backwards. Anyways, a little technique to cut down a larger tree than your saw, which this wasn't necessary. I mean, it was larger. I could have just got this from both sides. But you can be two and a half times bigger. We could be way out here and we could get to this, get to this center and then come all the way around and be good. And we could be way out here so we could have taken it down a you know a 30 36 inch tree with this 14 inch bar if we wanted to if you live in norway <laughs> no offense you norway folks uh, all right well I could use some lunch and that could be a rig. So I'm gonna take my stuff off here, and sign out. Playing the game of trees